the Marine Connection. My name is Yanni, and today I'll be presenting this 2006 Regal 2565 Sport Cruiser to you. This particular 2565 is in the black hull color, as you'll see in the photos, and it does have the yellow accent stripe around it. Looks great on land and on the water. This particular one also only has 40 hours on it, as you'll see in the photos and this video inside, above deck, and on the exterior of the gel coat. It is in excellent condition throughout. Power-wise, we have a Volvo Penta 5-liter OSI 270 horsepower engine powering this boat. It is mated to a Volvo Penta XDP twin prop outdrive. Uh, we're going to start here from the back of the boat, move our way forward. Again, only 40 hours on it. As you'll see in the photos and this video, it is in excellent shape. Starting here off, or starting here at the rear of the boat, very big extended swim platform on the boat some pull-up cleats, a nice fold-down ladder, stows away completely out of the way. You do have your freshwater hookup, uh, your remote control for the trim, waste pump out, ski tow eye, and then a convenient bumper storage tray or rack. Some nice grab rails. And Regal has this child safe transom door. It, uh, to open it up, you lift up on it and it locks in several positions, but it also keeps kids from opening up on their own. Coming up here into the rear of the cockpit, a wide rear bench seat that does fold down out of the way, gives you have plenty of entertaining space. There is a uh, cockpit table that's uh, goes into place here. It is stored under the engine hatch, which I'll show you now. Right here. Comes out of here easily and goes into place above. So you'll see the 5 liter OSI engine. Very clean bilge. Plenty of space down there, and as you'll see in the bilge, this boat has been extremely well cared for. You have your shore power hook up here. Let me show you how this rear bench folds out. Extremely easy to unfold. No worry what the wife and kids do in it. You'll see in the photos, but not here in the video, there is a cooler storage area and a remote for the CD stereo. We do also have a transom hot and cold shower as you'll see in the photos. Moving forward, several sets of cup holders here in the rear of the cockpit. Then we do have a flip-flop lounge seat here. You can face the rear of the boat or switch it back and lounge towards the front. We also do have some storage underneath this this cushion here, it, there is some neat organizers for the table legs, and there is a filler cushion to make this into a full sun pad. We do have a mid cockpit wet bar, little sink, and then some more storage underneath with a trash can. Let's take a look at the helm of the boat. Why don't you come on board? Up here at the helm, very nice wood accenting on the gauge clusters. Nice and easy to read, Feria gauges, a digital depth finder. This boat is equipped with the remote spotlight, so you do have the controls here for that. Trim tab controls, your 12 volt accessory switches. This boat also has a windlass, very nice feature. Ray, Ray Marine Ray 54 VHF radio, the control for the Volvo Penta Nutrisolt system. Of course, your Volvo Penta engine controls. Then we do have a Raymarine RC435 chart plotter in this boat. You do have a nice and big uh, captain's chair here with an adjustable bolster. It's very comfortable. One thing also, we do have a wood wrap steering wheel. And like modern cars, it does have the volume and uh, stereo controls actually on the wheel. That's sort of a rare feature to find in boats. Again, wraparound lounge seating. You do have a walk-through windshield which opens up. There are steps up here to get, get up. 
easily. Let's go take a look at the cabin. As you can see, it's a very spacious cabin for a, essentially a 25, 26 footer. Very well lit, a lot of windows. Regal's pretty well known for their lit cabins. You do have a cabin table, a nice sharp LCD TV. Uh, this is actually a really spacious dinette area that folds down into a V-berth. We do have the filler cushion for it. There's plenty of storage space under the seating cushions. Then we do have a nice galley here with a sink, single burner stove top, refrigerator, microwave. We do have our CD, Kenwood CD stereo here, our DVD player for the TV, 12 volt accessory, span, uh, accessory panel, and our holding tank controls. In the rear of the boat, you'll see in the photos, we do have the aft cabin. And then here on the port side of the cabin, we do have a nice stand-up head with a marine toilet and a stand-up shower, which you'll see better in the photos. Let's go ahead now and take her out, out for a spin, show you how she performs. Well, as you can see, this 2565 handles great on the water. Regal has really done a, a great job with this boat. They've really maximized the use of space. It's a great layout. Cabin is very lit, well lit. And then the cockpit also has plenty of entertaining space. If you have any questions, please contact our sales department. To view our full inventory, visit marineconnection.com. From West Palm Beach, Florida, and Marine Connection, my name's Yanni. God bless. Have a great day.